Yep, lots of heat for a good portion of the West. In fact, here's a look at the current map showing you the current heat advisories and heat warnings, as you can see, even out toward uh, port portions of Texas. But look at all this red showing up in California, out toward Nevada as well for today. So we had some real hot temperatures for the interior today. Take a look at some of uh, these numbers. For Redding, 110 degrees. Palm Springs, 116. Death Valley, 125 degrees earlier this afternoon. For us here in the Bay Area, we had uh, some triple digits to report out toward Vacaville and Alamo, Walnut Creek, Gilroy 102, Healdsburg 99 degrees, Sonoma mid 90s, Nevada at 95 degrees. And to be honest, most areas uh, today actually not as cool as forecasted yesterday, but still it was a hot day. We're showing you this looking out toward the uh, the uh, toward the fog here, the marine layer out toward Alcatraz. So it's always kind of a nice sign whenever this clears on out. That means the beaches could warm up as well places like San Francisco, but at least we have a big range in temperatures for today. In fact, pretty chilly out toward the coast with Half Moon Bay, 55 degrees. San Francisco right now, 63, still up above 100 degrees out toward Livermore, Walnut Creek, and in Fairfield. Here's a satellite, and we're showing you a summertime fog pattern out toward the coast here with some clearing near portions of the North Bay coastline, but we still have that onshore breeze. So typically, say, in October or November, we get those offshore winds, which really wipe out the fog layer. That is not the case this time around. So we've been talking about a heat wave, but it's not for the entire Bay Area. We still have the fog to track pushing back into the Bay. Here's a plan tomorrow morning. We could have a few high clouds out there and some patchy areas of fog right around the Bay. It will be a mild start tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. And then into the afternoon hours, you can see that big temperature range, mid 60s for the coast. Hottest locations inland will be around 102 to 103 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. This area of high pressure has been the big player with our weather forecast over the past uh, few days developing and strengthening. This is the source of the heat, but of course we have that onshore breeze, so it's either cool, warm to hot. Now into your Monday, we will begin to shave off a few degrees and more pronounced cooling into Tuesday. So eventually we are talking about a warming trend here in the Bay Area. Take a look, actually a cooling trend, I should say, in the Bay Area forecast. Take a look at the numbers for tomorrow. San Francisco, downtown 70 degrees, Santa Rosa, upper 90s. Still some triple digits out toward Concord, Antioch and Fairfield and San Jose right around 90 degrees. And here is the look ahead, your five day forecast. Monday is still hot inland, but we get trim back on those temperatures mid to upper 90s and the cool down really kicks in by Tuesday and Wednesday possibly another warm-up headed our way by Thursday but still as you can see one more hot day and then it looks like some cooling relief is on the way in the Bay Area forecast sounds good Mark thank you